Hi everyone, it's Faye and today you're going to be doing gymnastics with me. So first of all, make sure you have enough room around you because you want to have a safe environment and also maybe wear some leggings or joggers because you want to be in something that you can move about in. You don't really want to be in jeans. Also, if you have any injuries, please be careful and if you need to sit out at any point, please do. Okay, so we're going to start off with a warm up. So we're going to stretch. Good. And the other side. Good. I hope everyone's having a good day so far. Yeah. Roll your arms forward. And backwards. And who can do one arm forwards and one arm backwards? Good. If you can. And do the other arm forwards and the other arm backwards. If you can't do it. Maybe start doing some small circles with your arms like this and then make bigger circles and then naturally you just start swinging your arms and then one's going one way and the other's going the other way and it's working. Good, and then we're going to reach up and go on tippy toes and reach down and touch your toes. Good, and then we're going to look to the middle and look to the side and look to the middle and the other side. And then look up at the ceiling and look at your toes and give your toes a shake. Give your arms a shake. Then arms all the way down and slowly bring yourself up like you're a puppet. <laughs> Good. And then the big star shape, just stretching out your body. Good. Well done. <laughs> Right, now we're going to do a bit of a game. So it's called the traffic light game and green is running on the spot. Orange is stretch jumps and red is stop. So green, orange, red, green, orange, red, green, red, green, orange, red, orange, red, orange, red, Green, red, green, red, green. Good, now we're gonna add another color. The other color is going to be blue. So when I say blue, you're going to do some star jumps. So blue, green, orange, red, blue, green, orange, red, blue, green, red, orange, red, green, blue, orange, Good, and red, stop everybody. Well done. <laughs> Hopefully you're feeling a bit warmer now. Now we're going to go onto the floor and do some floor stretches. So put your legs in front of you. Sorry. Legs in front of you. And reach up. And you're going to hold it for three seconds. You're going to touch your toes, okay? One, two, three. If you can't touch your toes, don't worry, just touch your ankles, okay? Good, and then we're going to sit in straddle. So this is straddle, remember this for later because this will be quite important. And you're going to reach up and touch one foot. And you're going to reach up and touch the other foot. Good, and then touch both toes. Good, and then this is quite hard, but you can reach out as far as you can to the middle. So really stretch. I can really feel the stretch there in my legs. Good, just reach out as far as you can. Well done. And then we're going to circle our ankle. This is a bit more relaxing, just circling our ankle. But it's just important to make sure our whole body is warmed up. Especially if we're going to be on our feet quite a lot, it's important to warm up your ankles. And the other ankle. And can you write your name with your ankle? So my name's Face, I'm going to do F, A, Y. It's quite hard actually. E. <laughs> Good. And the other ankle. And the other ankle. And the other ankle. <laughs> well done. Right. Now, if you can. Can you get into bridge? If you can't, then don't worry. You can do this 
and just be like a crab and move from side to side. But if you can do bridge, then do it. If you like in the middle and you can kind of do it but not very well, put a pillow under your head just in case you do fall. So arms like this and then leg and then stretch up, okay? Good. It's going to be a stretch jump, okay? So arms above your head. You want your feet to be a little bit apart and you're going to reach up with straight arms and jump up. Good. If you need help with your landing, put your arms in front of you when you land. So arms up and land. Yeah? And then we're going to do a star jump. So that's also a stretch jump or pencil jump or straight jump, whatever you want to call that. That's the first one. And the star jump is like this. Okay, so do a star jump. Good. Everyone show me a star jump. Lovely. And then we're going to do a straddle jump. My straddle jumps aren't very good, nor are my pike jumps, but remember we did straddle earlier when we were on the floor and our legs were out like that. So it's that shape, okay? So jump up and land. And then a pike jump. We're going to put your feet out like that. Ready? My pike jump, that was really bad. I bet all of you can do a better pike jump than that. I bet you, you can. So everyone show me your pike jump. Good, and if you forget how the, what they're called, then just pause the video and you can play it again or watch it later, just so you can practice your jumps, because that's really important, okay? Lovely, so now we're going to do a little routine. So we're going to do a stretch jump, a star jump, and then we're going to do a new jump, a tuck jump. So this is a tuck jump, okay? If you don't know. Okay, so stretch jump, star jump, tuck jump, one after the other. Try not to jump too much in between. Try and go straight into it. Okay, so stretch jump, star jump, tuck jump. Good. If you have a trampoline as well, you can practice that on the trampoline. It'll be even more fun. Okay, now we're going to pretend we have an invisible line on the floor. We're just going to practice our tippy toe walking to the middle, swing your arms out. Then we're going to stop and just with one foot in front of the other, we're just going to do a stretch jump and try and land on the spot we started on, okay? So, good. So if you can't do it too high, don't worry. Just practice getting your landing. So you just want to try and not move too much. So you don't want to be going like this. We're not doing long jump, okay? So you just want to land on the spot, okay? And you can do that with a tuck jump. So again, one foot is in front of the other and you're just going to jump up and land like that, okay? Well done. Now that's good for beam. And now we're going to go on to bar. So unless you have a bar in your house, you're just going to pretend you have a bar. And you're going to hold onto your bar. And we can do the shapes, okay? So we can still do a tuck jump. But obviously it's not a jump, it's just a tuck shape. We can still do a pike and a straddle, pretending that we're on the bar, okay? Because although it sounds a bit silly, these are really important shapes that you need to know. So practicing them through every piece of equipment will really help. And it's really good conditioning for your muscles and your strength. So hold on, we're gonna do it three times. So it's really hard. Just try as hard as you can. So don't put your feet on the floor, you're holding them up. So tuck, pike, one, two, three. Straddle, one, two, three. Tuck, one, two, three. Pike, point your toes, two, three. Straddle, legs straight, two, three three, tuck, knees up to your tummy, two, three, last one, pike, two, three, and last straddle, one, two, three. Well done. If you can do that, you're probably really strong, aren't you? So great work so far. So they're obviously just the basics, and then we're going to do vault, even though it's going to be quite hard to do it, we are going to practice vault, because there are two moves on vault that include the jumps. So one of them is a squat on, and a squat on is basically a tuck jump. And then the other one is a straddle one, which is basically a straddle jump. So I'm going to show you. It's going to be quite hard, but I'm going to use a pillow and pretend that's my vault, just so it's a bit more obvious. Okay, so you're going to run up and then you're going to put your hands on first and then your feet. So we're going to do a squat on first. So we're going to do like this, okay? And then a straddle, remember, is that shape. So we're going to do that, but on our, our hands and feet. So a straddle. Run up, hands on, legs out, okay? So everyone show me your squat on. Good, and a straddle on. 
Good. Squat on. Straddle one. Squat, squat on. Straddle one. Good. So just practice running up. If you have a little pillow, use it. Or like just a block or something. Just to make it a bit higher. Just so you're not just running on the floor. But if you find it too hard jumping onto something like this, then you can just do some bunny hops on the floor. Like this. Because this is practicing your squat on. Because that's the squat on shape, okay? So... Just practice that. I know that's a really quick demonstration, but that's just an outline of the main jumps and how you can use those jumps when you're doing other activities. So I know that's really short, but that's all for now. I was just introducing the jumps. So just practice your jumps um, and practice them doing different things. And yeah, just have fun because once you've got the jumps, then we can do some other stuff basically. So I hope that was okay, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're a little bit out of breath like me, <laughs> and yeah, have a really good day and a great week. Thank you. Bye.